which uh, we are launching with more than just this one. But uh, this one, I think we showed some clips in the last stream of this one. Uh, and you'll notice that uh, you know this is an iconic location. So that's some of the idea on uprisings. But this is the uh, we call this the, like the lava, the lava works set. So it's kind of topped with lava. So we're not really talking about like the other locations yet, as far as where some of those uprisings are happening. Though, but you're saying that like, the highway gleams at classic locations out of that. Yeah, I would say we we try to focus for these um, on some classic iconic locations, and even some locations that we feel uh, we've seen before, but. Not very often. Very, I, I would say underutilized areas. Yeah. So, so areas we've seen uh, people request to go back to or revisit or things things from the from the story. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, I'm gonna open the box. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? It's a head. No, it's not a head. Wait, wait. Before before you go too far here, though, I wanna I wanna you know kill kill a few more mobs. I wanna see what you're wearing. Because that's the other thing I think a lot of people may be curious about. What kind of gear you get here, as far as how easy this, this level feels or how it goes. Because we're play, playing through story mode right now, right? Yes. So let's just take, so take a quick run through some of the gear that you've got on. There's a nice robot on fleet that gave me uh, best uh, uh, nightmare tier gear. So these are all 240p. Uh, I threw some augments in there. I didn't go through all the new max prospects, but um, it's probably pretty well over here. Uh, he's pretty good. Player. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's where we're at. This um, that's probably just standing there doing nothing. That's the but I'm a freaking champion. This game is <laughs> terrible. This is the worst game ever. Oh, I'm gonna say game is too loud. Uh, okay. Let's figure out how to lure this guy. Yeah, put that guy. All right. Well, hopefully that's a little bit better. What's in the box? So now we're going to see some familiar planets, see some familiar settings that are out there, uh, going back to some places that we visited before, um, not getting specific any new places. Um, potentially. Okay. Uh, and we, you know, we, we do have more uprisings coming after launch, which I think we've, we've mentioned. Um, and, you know, we're always, we're looking for new places. We're looking for, like I said, underutilized places maybe you saw Months in a blue moon ago, we just did. Um, so, so yeah, that's that was really the idea is to find find some cool settings that we could uh, explore more and, mm -hmm. and add some cool gameplay to. So now, my qu question about these uh, about the uprisings: What do you? How do you say that these separate themselves from what we would consider a flashpoint at this point? So the idea is these are, we, we design these very differently, um, at least behind the curtain. Uh, these are, we want these to be really a little faster paced. We want these to be a little more action oriented. I would say less measured, uh, less, um, okay, there's a pack of five guys in front of us. We need to CC two of them and kill the other three. And more just kind of run and gun, uh, gauntlet, if you will. <laughs> and uh, and that really, you know, drove our design from the beginning. Um, and so we also wanted these to be a shorter play session than a flashpoint. And so my example is always, you know, I run through something like Battle of Rishi, and I'm doing a lot of running. And I'm like, this is yeah, beautiful, right. but it's huge. And, you know, I'm running 10, 15 seconds before I hit a pack of guys waiting for me. So with these, we wanted these to be a much shorter play session. We wanted these to have just lots of things happening at once, lots of little surprises. Um, and it really, you know, it, 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 a lot of it is how we built it was different. Um, like I said, our balance points are much different with these. With these, we have um, the two mode. You guys are in story right now. And story is designed to be uh, the equivalent of the current tactical flashpoint. So. Uh, roll neutral, uh, pretty approachable with the gear that you'll get by playing through the chapters, that kind of thing. Uh, and then the veteran mode is actually kind of a, a big step up. The intent is it is uh, roll enforced. You're going to need a tank, healer, two DPS. Um, 
And balance-wise, typically, so to talk about how the sausage is made a little bit, we have some balance sheets and balance points that we use. And a lot of times we, we will account for a certain level of gear, but we'll give you, we won't account for, say, augments and stims, and we'll say, okay, that's only for, like, Nightmare Ops or that kind of thing. With these, we actually said, okay, for veterans, we want rolling force, we want augments, we want stims, we want class buffs, like, basically everything you need to be prepared. Uh, and that was our, our target. Now, it is difficult because a lot of times it's, it's we have so many different NPCs coming on the screen, as you see, and it's it's difficult to, to balance that kind of thing, but, you know, we've been working at it and we, we think we're uh, in a pretty good spot but uh, but yeah these are supposed to be a pretty decent challenge uh, right from right out of the gate so it's <laughs> chaotic <laughs> yeah, a little chaotic yeah, look at there's stuff everywhere <laughs> and I mean and that's uh, that creates a much more dense kind of experience in a smaller space so yeah um, even with the is it, that was one thing you know after running co-op drives about 5,000 times you know, there was a lot of running to the next thing. There was a lot of, you know, the same mobs over and over again. Yeah. I can obviously see see that this is a, a heck of a lot faster. So it's a little different thing. But it's also sort of focused on, you know, with, with a couple of bosses, there's some mechanics built into it as well. Yeah, so we, we definitely have, um, we have a mixture of mechanics and chaos, is what I like to say. <laughs> uh, some of the... You know, a lot of the goals were we don't want it to be uh, AOE to win, or we don't want it to be, yeah. you know, uh, melee is the best or the worst or any of that. So we try to mix it up. We try to have guys that'll be that'll stay there at range, like your sniper up there, um, that that won't get caught on your AOE. We, you know, we have some groups of guys. We have some that'll run at you, some that'll stay there. So we really tried to make it just kind of teeter on that point of chaos. Um, but on the bosses, we do focus on mechanics. And these are kind of, we approach these sort of like a bridge into maybe flashpoints and ops uh, as far as group content. So these are pretty approachable story mode. And the mechanics are uh, very much the same for veteran, but we just crank up the damage, the healing, um, everything. So, and these, uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, obviously these have um, power-ups, which uh, all of these will have power-ups. There's the thermal devastator, <laughs> <laughs> and these are designed to be pretty over the top and pretty. Uh, you know, there's the <laughs> whoa <laughs> rocket launcher, <laughs> point blank, and, and kind of uh, you know kind of add a little twist to it to to change up the experience every time, uh, and they're kind of scattered throughout. So story mode, you'll have cult of stations just like in tactical flashpoints right now, um, but we'll turn those off for veteran. So you know you definitely need a need a healer and. <laughs> Don't stuff on the stand ground, in the stupid bro. Stuff, stuff oh. everywhere. Ah, this is story mode. Boy, veterans gonna take forever. Yeah, this might be. <laughs> <laughs> I have some kind of feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of feeling it would be. I saw somebody ask they wanted me to whip out my sniper at some point. You don't want that. You'll be here all night. <laughs> if I put the sexy sniper in this uh, in this stream, it'll be it'll be a terrible day for everybody. I guarantee it. I will say though, difficulty wise. You know, the target, when I was talking about the balance targets with stims and augs, that is not how we balance um, hard mode flashpoints. So these are supposed to be balanced. The veteran mode uh, is on the high end of um, hard mode flashpoints. Typically those just have a gear requirement and that's it. So does it feel that way? I mean, does it feel like it's that more di that much more difficult? You'll see that there's a lot of unavoidable damage mm -hmm. um, in veteran mode. There's a lot of avoidable damage that will potentially one-shot you, um, you know, everything is, is fair game. We didn't really limit ourselves to saying, okay, nothing you can't cleanse or nothing. We, we, we went all out. So um, that's, the, that's the goal. You know, we're, we're trying to hit it, uh, and we're still iterating on it. So, but this is, this is the last boss here in story, so you'll see a little bit of, uh, <laughs> a little bit of chaos on this one. <laughs> if you guys wipe on story mode, I am going to crack up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not blaming it on the tank. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll 
blame it on the tank then. Okay. Alright, robots. Right. <laughs> You're going down. Oh man, it must be. It's got to be the keyboard, man. It's totally got to be the it's keyboard. It's only the gear. You know, right? I mean, like if I had a, if I had my keyboard, I'd be able to like knock this out, man. It wouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, yeah no, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Poor carpenter indeed that blames the tools. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna blame the tools. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, well, Tate has died, which is <laughs> go awesome. figure. So but I'll tell you. So right now, you guys are in 242 legendary quality gear. And these are actually balanced the story mode um, to much lower. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're so, really terrible. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Now, veteran mode we balance to uh, 240 artifact, which is purple essentially. Or 240 plus is what we called it. So to relate it to now, it would be like a mixture between uh, hard mode off gear, a full set of hard mode off gear, and then a few pieces of nightmare off gear. So basically, uh, 220 with some 224s is essentially what we balance the veteran mode to. So you guys are a little out leveled on this, but you can see these are not a uh, necessarily a walk in the park, <laughs> even in story mode. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess that's pre that's pretty good. I mean, so who do you feel like is your design to, to go after as far as like who's gonna you think is this for people that were flashpoint players, ops players? Or is it you know, trying to get new new people to experience it? I mean, if you're trying to get people to learn mechanics and play in game, you know, having it be tough is going to be tough. Yeah, um, honestly, it's a little you know, it's a little everything. Uh, we want these to be we want these to be fun and short play sessions. So a flashpoint flashpoints aren't you know the longest content in the game, obviously, but yeah. it's a it's a little bit of a time commitment and. Um, and we want these to be approachable enough to be done. You know, you can play through a, a, a few of these in an hour, honestly. There you go. You got the walker down. So about 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour on, on the regular, right? Yeah, that was our goal is about 15 to 30 minutes um, on, on both modes. And obviously that depends on, on how well your group is doing. Lots of little droids. Well, you're, you're <laughs> so many droids. What so much happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they are running in. So they are playing on uh, PTS, I believe. And uh, we had a couple issues that we've we fixed that hasn't been updated on PTS. You'll notice when a lot of these little guys die, there's uh, there's some hitching, and that's that's a thing that we've uh, we've already addressed. But it's definitely going to show up on the stream. So and no, <laughs> good point. No cultivations, which is also a bug on story mode, um, which we've already. Address, but yeah, normally you'd have cultist stations to help you out. So, all right, what's in here? Well, that's your uh, you probably want to loot first. <laughs> goodies, and there's your goodies. All right, well, what'd you get? What'd you get? I got a mount and a medium uprising XP. Well, I say we open that sucker. Kitchen, and we're gonna buy one of these. So, I'm uh, what'd you get for that? I got some command XP. Okay, how do I check my uh, command level? Control G by default. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, check this out. Yeah. So this so is the interface. This is new. Um, the new menu bar basically, and and you you mouse over and things will pull down, and there's your command Pretty. line. Pretty. Eight. Uh, so I need quite a bit more XP. Okay. So. But, uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, Oh, and I got some more command points for the mission. So okay. Yeah, so in Uprisings, you'll get command points by killing bosses and for completing the, the quest, essentially, the activity quest, what we call it. So in this guy down here. And that is, um, you can toggle who you are fighting for. So you earn 70 dark side points just by playing through. And you get dark side points for killing any NPC and completing any quest. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of your on-the-fly toggle if you uh, mm -hmm. decide you need to switch allegiance halfway through.